is to increase the knowledge that Kenyans have about content creation, especially those who want to get into the space. So I'm glad to be here. Yes. Welcome. Gideon. Work at CGI Gadgets. Our vision is simply about creatives and businesses and whoever storytellers just to be able to do that. And we realize through the phone is the easiest way to do that. So we provide, we, we educate anything that comes with a phone and you can create content with a phone. That's what we do. So in short, CDA gadgets, you sell phones or uh, like? No, we don't sell phones. We, we, we like to think ourselves as we sell tools. Mm -hmm. And these are tools that you use with a phone to tell your story because we think the phone is a game changer. Mm -hmm. So you want creatives, you want small businesses, you want medium enterprises. Uh, it's 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 yes, <laughs> to tell their stories, to mm. tell their brand stories using the phone. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And I am a digital strategist. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I spend most of my time online. I study consumer behavior, human behavior, and generally growing businesses and brands is my passion. That's why we have the online lifestyle. I believe like online is the, is the future. You know? Like everything is being done online, e-commerce. In fact, the phone is the television right now. Yeah. yeah. We are recording the phone. Yeah, we have phones here recording mm -hmm. and a camera. Today we, we had come to an agreement that we were going to discuss about um, content, generally content in the online playground. Yeah. And I have uh, aspects which I think we should uh, focus on in our in the three or four sessions that we have. And that would be, the first one would be content creation, generally. Uh, we touch on the relevance and context of content creation, which I believe Momo will tell us more about that. And also, how to take advantage, especially in 2020, brands are looking towards telling their stories. And they want these stories to reach the larger audience, you know. But one mistake, what do you think? Uh, some brands think that having a huge following is what gives them an advantage in getting their content out. What, what do you have to say, to say guys? Uh, first of all, that is a mistake. And it's because we've, we've come into a world where the bigger numbers that you have looks like you have more authority. And that has enslaved people and brands to nitpicking on every single kind of content that they want out there. Yet now the consumer wants to see a human face behind the brand. And you will see that the brands that actually go out to give us imperfect content, to give us human relatable content, are the ones who are winning. Because the game is not in the numbers, because numbers can be manipulated. You can be able to buy numbers. You can be able to actually promote to get numbers. But you cannot be able to manipulate engagement. Because human engagement is now the next level of that game. How can you be able to get many more people to be involved in the stories that you're trying to tell? How can you be able to craft a story that people will look at and feel, I I feel myself in that particular story. That's the thing that is going to change. And now, it will not be about doing commercials or doing adverts or doing perfect photos. It's about now, how does a CEO live? Mm. 
on a day to day yeah. can he be able to tell us how his day is by putting it on his story that's what now i feel is the next step for every brand every brand now needs to get behind uh, stop being behind the name of the company mm -hmm. and now show us the human beings that are actually behind it. because that's where we will actually connect with them even more well, let me say this yeah i, I was in uh, shots just like um during the summer mm -hmm. so you're sitting with my aunt huh, who has a nishidi a uh, french beans uh, shop mm -hmm. so i'm telling her as a company we want people to tell their stories She's like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm like, where do you get those nishiri? She's like, you know what? I have these ladies from Kibera who come and do this, and then we do this, and that. I'm like, that, that is what you want? Yeah. That's what you want to hear. Something so we want to hear that process. Yes. Want to, you as a CEO, what is the process? What is the process of is a nishiri from the place they are, you know, we want to see that story as, as, as a potential buyer. Mm -hmm. So that every day, if it's on your Instagram page, I do not want to come and see your products advertised there every day, price, price, price. Mm -hmm. I want to see the it's story. It's monotonous. Everybody yes. doing that. Yes. I want to see the process. I want to see people who are behind the machinery. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you already have a really interesting story. Mm -hmm. Tell us about those mamas mm -hmm. from Kibera and how you're helping them to... Yeah, and also, like, uh, in, in, in doing that, in telling the story, mm -hmm. something that will touch the hearts of the people. Something, you see people want something that they will relate to. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, brands need to, idea, to, to realize that they need to stay relevant and contextual to whatever they do. So this is the thing, mm -hmm. because we are dealing with so many small brands and so that is the thing people ask you, practically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the practically <laughs> yes. they are not getting. Yes. Yes how it's being done. Yeah. So when someone, uh, uh, let me give you, because you're a strategist. Yeah. I um, Actually, I'll give you an example that you both will be able to relate. Mm. I am a makeup artist. Uh -huh. I want to stand out as a makeup artist. Mm. Uh -huh. How would I go about that? Very good. Yeah. How would you go about that? Yes. I think, no, uh, who was that? Nikki Dan, yeah. I think we will, bro. Let me add on to that. Eh? Yeah. Uh, so yes, no more. If you're starting a makeup channel, and I think that would be really good content for people who watch my content. If you're starting a makeup channel, then the first thing that you need to do is think of it as if, okay, there are two kinds of makeup artists. There are those who have not made money from it. And there are those who made money from it yeah. already offline without digital. Yeah. Now, if I'm already doing it as a business, that's a person that now is a professional makeup artist but wants to expand their business. So the thing I would say is every single time that you're doing makeup on a particular client, film it. Yeah. Document. Document. Document the whole process. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say anything. All you just need to do especially in this market, is just tell your client that you know what, I'm starting a YouTube channel and I want to show people what I do. Because now when a potential client wants to get in touch with that makeup artist, all they need to do is go online. Yeah. Because all they'll just do is check makeup artist in Kenya and yeah. check all the results that are there. So if I see you have done 10, 20, 30 videos of makeup on different people, people. then I have a feeling that you must be a good makeup artist. True. Then now you can actually make money from it. Mm -hmm. If you are starting, starting, yes. you have never made money from makeup, then that's when you now need to do it on yourself. And you need to now think of how, how do women think when it comes to makeup. They do different kinds of makeup because of where they work. They do different kinds of makeup because of the kind of the, the occasion that is there. So you can actually structure content in that particular way. So give me makeup for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Give me makeup for a birthday party. Give me makeup for going to the club. Makeup in for fact, going to I, the office. I saw a certain All lady that. On, on Facebook. Yes. She does uh, themed makeups. Mara mm -hmm. watermelon. Eh? Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Anachora mananasi. Banana, something. Like what are you doing? Okay. Yes. Yes. She's my friend. Because, because yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> you are thinking to a strategy. 
<laughs> we want to want do this strategy. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're watching, yeah. That's free marketing. You need to pay. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah. But like that example that he he, he talks about, this lady and it's Biwasam, what she did, she did 30 days. Yeah, makeup challenge. Makeup challenge. Yeah. So every single day showing us different kinds of makeup. First of all, that challenge in itself yeah. is a very high goal. And it's something that not anyone else has done. Yeah. So that is one of the easiest ways of mm -hmm. actually just standing out from other makeup other artists makeup that are there. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure by the time she was getting to day 15, day 16, people were but starting following, to follow. notice to see, okay, yeah. for some people it was, will she be able to actually do 30, 30 different? Days. Will she be able to do it in 30 days? So people are watching for different things. But at the same time, you're getting publicity. Publicity, engagement. And engagement. Awareness. So yeah? People are actually seeing there's a different kind of makeup artist yeah. and she can do anything. So okay. if we have, if I have a company that is doing a masquerade party, yeah. then that would be the perfect person to actually call. Because we've seen her do different kind of things. So we know that she's creative. She can be able to do all those things. Yeah. Yes.